Good morning, everybody. Hope y'all are doing well. I know I am. Got off work this morning, and it's a beautiful day. It's not supposed to rain today, so hopefully I can get some stuff done. But uh, a couple weeks ago, I talked with a guy in West Virginia, an older gentleman who has a uh, small machine shop up there, and he was getting rid of a bunch of stuff, and while talking to him, I was telling him one of the hardest things that for me anyway is is being a novice machinist and trying to start my shop up i found the equipment that's you can find that every day purchase it that's not a problem the tooling is is usually what gets a lot of people because you don't know what you're going to need until you don't have it and you need it so i've been going through trying to to purchase stuff trying to find the the bits and the drills and the end mills and countersinks and counterbores and everything I need. And it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of money and, and effort. So that's what I've been working on the last couple of months was trying to find the tooling, the clamps, the tool holders, the, the fixturing and the tooling that I need to actually do my job. So... Got home this morning and had two of these nice boxes sitting on the front porch waiting on me. Let's see what's on. So in all fairness and honesty, I've actually already opened these because as you can see here, one of the boxes came in and this side was completely torn open. So I wasn't sure what uh, damage was done to stuff inside. These are all taps, drill bits, um, end mills. This box, I specifically asked for. This one, he just threw in a bunch of extra stuff that he was getting rid of. So let's look at this one first. And this is really cool. So he did a great job of wrapping it. It had a bunch of uh, foam in here to keep the stuff from banging together. He's taken them and wrapped stuff up in, you know, tight bundles, and uh, just really cool. I think I'm gonna need to bring you closer to let you see exactly what is in this box, though. So let me re remove the camera. All right. So one of the first things I found when I opened it up was this end mill. That is a massive end mill. It's an inch and a half in diameter. Um, you know, unfortunately, there's, I don't know if you can see it or not, there is some chipping on the tooth, so it's not in great shape, but good ones, that's expensive. This tap was also in there. This is an uh, inch and a half by six national course thread, so that's a nice tap to have. It's in great shape. It's not beat up, and... That would be an expensive tap for me to buy on my own. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, all right. Nice little, looks like a counter bore. It's in good shape. So that's nice and it's got carbide tips in it so that's gonna work real well. And then I've unwrapped these from the plastic I don't want to damage them, but he sent me a bunch of taps. Now they're they're a little dirty, but that's okay. The threads are still in great shape, and they're all different sizes, all different core threads. So that'll be a good collection. I've already got a bunch of uh, taps. Some of them are brand new. Like this one, it's never even been used. Whoop. So, and neither has that one. It's still packaged up. So, nice collection of taps. Like I said, they're a little dirty, but that's all right. They'll still do the job that I need them to do. And I'll be able to uh, get some work at them. Now, this is the other bundle that was in that box, and I'm really 
kind of interested to see this. I love the, the care he took. So this bundle was all wrapped together just like this with plastic wrap. This was in a case, and then each of these was individually wrapped. So he took a lot of care in making sure that, you know, things didn't bounce around in the box unprotected. So I really appreciate that. So let's see, the first thing that's coming out is another end mill. That's a massive end mill. He's got, I don't know if you can see it or not, he's actually got $20 written on it. But all the flutes look like they're in good shape. It's been used, but like I said, it, it's got one little nick on it, but I think overall, I think it'll do a good job. It'll get some work done for me. Let's get the rest of these unwrapped. Like I said, he did a great job in protecting them. Oh, a nice two flute end mill. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about when I say flute, it has the flutes or the cutting edge. So this has one cutting edge here, one cutting edge here. So that makes it a two flute. Here's a four flute. As you can see, one, two, three, and four. So that's four cutting edges. This is really, um, after talking to the guy, he had such a wide variety of stuff. And I told him my situation, what I was looking for, and I just asked him to send me a variety of stuff. Uh, that looks like it's a six flute. Another nice end mill. So I asked him just to send me a, a selection of stuff and he did and I mean the amount of stuff he sent was amazing I, I wasn't expecting anywhere near this many things oh wow so that's a nice one this one's never even been used it's a two flute on one end and the other so this side gets damaged I can flip it over and I can use that side and like I said, that one's never even been chucked up. It's brand new. And the final thing in this box, let's see. A oh, nice drill bit. So, nice. All right, so that's the first box. Let's look at the second one. All right, so here's the second box. And I didn't ask this guy if I could put his information out there. So um, he's out of uh, Virginia, but uh, his name is Steve, and I really appreciate him helping me out. Like I said, he packaged everything really, really well. This was the box of stuff that I really ordered, and I sent him some extra money and just asked him, you know, whatever else he wanted to throw in. Um, he could, but these are all what they call Morse taper uh, bits. So if you look at the end, um, there we go. You can see it's got this this slot on the end of it. Well, this slot, some drill presses have a a Morse taper or a um, slotted drill head that this will fit into, and it helps lock it in place. So. Um, now this one isn't a tapered shank, it's just got the slot in it, but, uh, some nice drill bit there. Here's another one, uh, trying to read the size. That's a problem with go getting older. You, uh, you can't read anything anymore. I'm gonna have to get my glasses to read it, but... This one's never even been used. It's still sealed in the wax from the shipper. And I tell you, there's just there's so much in here that this guy sent. 
Um, you know, a smaller drill bit with a taper, a tapered shank on it. Here's another one with a, a nice starter on it. And these larger ones are just, they're, they're expensive when you can find them. That one doesn't look like it's, if it has been used, it's only been used once or twice. It, it's hardly any wear on it. But, uh, you know, these, these bits can get very expensive, um, all, ranging all the way up to, you know, hundreds of dollars for just one. So I, I was really happy to find them, and he made me a, an amazing deal on them that I just I couldn't turn down. And for any of y'all that are out there that do work, you know how quick you can burn through drill bits and tooling. It's just it's something you've got to have to be able to do your job and do it correctly. So... Um, when you find it, it's really nice to have. All right, let's see. That looks like some more end mills. I, I tell you, y'all, it just, the box doesn't end. Um, here's another really nice tapered drill. And again, this one doesn't look like it's ever been used. Here's a nice one. Uh, this one's never been used. I mean, it's it's just amazing that he was willing to part with these. Tell you what, let me finish getting this out of the box, and then I'll bring you back and I'll show you all of it laid out. Okay. Oh, here they are all laid out, y'all. So some of them, like this group, is they're all the same. These two are the same. These two are the same. These two are the same. These are the same. Those are the same. That's the same. But that's okay because when you're working with stuff, you need to be able to have multiples because sometimes they break. The flutes break on them. The cutting edges break. They wear out. So... Uh, this will give me, you know, plenty of bits on that size. It never hurts to have some extras. So I'm really excited about it. And, you know, it it's a good opportunity for me to grow the tooling that I have and the tooling I need. So I couldn't pass up the deal that the guy gave me as uh, one of the my friends here on YouTube says Nelson, they were pennies on the dollar. So I'm grateful for it and look forward to putting them into use. All right, y'all. So that's pretty much it for this. Um, it's probably a long mail call video, but uh, I'm just excited about it and wanted to show it to y'all and see what y'all thought. So now I've got to go through and label all this stuff, put it in the cabinets where it's supposed to go. That way it's ready for a job. But, uh, hey, I'm having a great day. I hope you're having another good day in paradise. I'll talk to you soon.